All right, do it yourself. Uh, Honda CBR 250 fender removal. So as far as I know, everybody who bought one of these new, uh, it came with one of these fenders and I don't think anybody likes them. It's got this long piece and this is where the uh, license plate mounts to and it's got some reflectors and it's kind of weird. Nobody, nobody really likes it. So um, there's a lot of uh, fender removal kits um, sold by places like Hot Bodies, cost you like a hundred bucks. You can do it yourself, um, make some mounting brackets and stuff, cost you maybe 20 to 50 bucks. Um, I'm working on uh, street fightering out my bike. I've taken a lot of fairings off. Um, and when I was taking the rear fairings off, I thought, well, I think you could actually probably remove the fender and put everything back together with the parts that you have. So I took everything together, took everything apart rather, um, put it back together and uh, kind of figured out a way to make it work with the parts that, that I have. So you'll notice that the, the rear blinkers that are on here are not the actual rear blinkers that came with it because they're still on the uh, fender. I didn't want to remove them because they're kind of a bitch to remove. And I just said, forget it. So these are actually from the front. So I removed the front fairing. Um, I'll figure out a way to put blinkers up there. But for now, um, this is kind of how I made it work. So blinkers uh, from the front, they have this cute little bracket right here. See it? And if I get under here, you can see that I you took the brackets. So these these used, used to clip onto the, the front fairing. So I took them off, they're nice little L brackets. Um, there was an existing hole here that I used a bolt with a nut up there, tighten it on, that works pretty good. Sweet, huh? So rear light went, went on, no problem. Uh, I think that there's a clip in here that you need to clip it into. Um, mine, it's not. I must have done something wrong. I'll probably need to take it, take it back apart to do it again. Um, but then you still have to think about how to mount the license plate. So I bought mine in California, and I don't know if in California you they have to sell the bikes with these reflectors and things, but this is the original license plate mount. I didn't make this. This is It just came with it. It was shaped differently. So what I did was um, there's this hole right here that the fender used to mount to. There's this, this hole that, that's in the license plate cover or the license plate holder um, that existed before I took all this apart. So I just put a bolt through the hole, went through that hole, put a nut on there, tightened it on. It's pretty good. Let's shake the camera around. Um, and then what I did here is see, I bent it. I just took it and I just wrenched on it. Um, there's these little, these things right here where the, uh, reflectors mounted to I just took my fingers and I just bent those back so they didn't because normally they'd stick out like this um, and then license plate mounts just like this could mount like that could mount maybe a little bit higher either way it works and this didn't cost me a penny so think about it check it out you might like it